Ladies and gentlemen, look at us two. Hello, Sin Casino is launched. Welcome everyone to our first 1.0 dev stream. I actually named it 1.0 dev stream 1 because we've got three dev streams. Before I go over the schedule though, hello, hello everyone. Um, I'm Joscha, if you haven't been here before. I'm somewhat of a do-everything person and maybe you've seen me on the forums and uh, especially on Discord. And um, right next to me on the left side is Michael. Hello. Michael basically the lead dev on Sim Casino, I guess. Mm. <coughs> Just a few small things. <coughs> Just a few. Uh, I'll not try sound not die on the stream. Yeah, not sounding too great today. Um but whatever, we, we, we get this stream done. Um, as you can see, we are going to just stream us two today. Arthur is going to join us tomorrow for the stream on Wednesday. Same time. So if you want to watch, uh, if you come out you hang out with us. Same time Thursday. Oh, right. Today is Wednesday. Yeah. Well, yeah. So t t tomorrow. Uh, same time tomorrow. And uh, with a special guest. So be sure to come out uh, to tomorrow too and we'll close it off with the saturday stream michael is gonna play and uh, if we can get it working if, yeah i have high hopes but uh, let's see how michael is playing. um anyway just a general hello uh, i see chick already here peter is already here and Ilo already here saying congrats Thank you very much. <clears throat> um, do we have any plan for today besides me building sports betting and we say bingo? Uh, bingo, yeah. Or maybe even the future instead of one of them. Probably bingo would be nicer because I can't remember if we had bingo in the last uh, build. I don't think so. I'm not even quite sure. I know sure we, if had we had theater. <coughs> It was quite a small casino, wasn't it? Yeah, I specifically went for a big casino this time, for the biggest plot. I think it's actually the biggest plot, the main square. Uh, yeah. yeah. The naming was uh, original, you know, because it's the main map. <laughs> Hi everyone in chat. <coughs> you all get a free cough. Uh, Michael, do you have the chats open? Uh, I have YouTube, but I don't know if my internet could handle having more open. Uh, which on Twitch, please. Who are, uh, was playing was playing last night? Question. Is there a way to turn a single floor wall room into a double high one? Uh, or does that involve deleting the whole room start? Um, if the autosave is finished. You just remove the floor rebuild. Um, so let's, I'm just going to show you real quick. Uh, I need to make a room here anyways. Let's say we have a one story room over two levels. And you want to make it a one story floor. Uh, a two story room. What you do is you just take the, um, where is it? Uh, it's now demolish. It's just a normal demolish tool? Okay. You just take the normal demolish tool. And then go into other. other. And disable all that and take not fencing but flooring. And then if you just remove it, there you go. You have a hole in your... And it's yeah, it used to be... Tool. It, sorry, I was just going to say, it's, it used to be a one-click tool, but then it always got misused along with the demolish tool. Somebody would so accidentally delete half a building by accident, or somebody would delete something the way it meant to. So this takes a little longer, but it seems to fix like 90% of the issues players are having with accidentally removing stuff. Also, if you, have the, if you want to do the same, but in reverse, let's say you have this massive two-story room, and you want to close it in. Um, for example, I would, I'd like to put these elevators up one floor, but we need 
some space where they get out, where people can get out. Um, people shouldn't fall down on one floor. Um, to do that, you just take any flooring. Um, obviously that works inside. So let's just take a carpet. And by default, you can just place it on the ground, but you want to have the um, roof or the flooring of the upper floor back in. Just go up on the side. You can see, you now get the basement on the floor higher. Simple, I can now place over this. There you go. Full big, uh, full field. I think shift might work if you select the upper floor as well. Uh, maybe it I'm not. Might, no, I'm not gonna I, try I now. <laughs> Is a question up on YouTube? Uh, it just says, congrats on the full release. Simxena and Simeth are hugely underrated titles. Perhaps of its guests, not streamers. Thank you, Richard Clutter. Uh, yeah, we hope more people play it too. <clears throat> uh, yeah, thanks from me too. Um, just a general note. If you enjoyed the game, be sure to leave a review for us. The game. Um, or if you don't enjoy it, legally we can't say leave positive reviews, but yeah, we would we, prefer it. <laughs> we obviously can only say leave a review. Um, but just to let you guys know, leaving a review for us definitely helps um, like extremely. So if you have a second and enjoy the game, be sure to leave a And as always, if you have some problem, question or whatever, Feel free to ask here on the live stream. Feel free to ask comments. Um, but as always, the best place to reach us is the team forum and the Discord. Go to take a look at those. Either us or the community generally gets to answer. Oops. I just changed too much. Uh, let's take some other. Um, Elith on which I can do key function. Uh, sadly, no. Oh, that's a hole. We've discussed it. Uh, in the team, it's a whole um, kind of words to get that working. I was just thinking, um, it's nice to see the cafe full and all the different groups seat in there. <coughs> By the way, Michael, where does it say? Where does it say if you if the people are coming in the group? Um, I think you have to click on them. Oh, oh no, there right. we go. Does that say zero friends, or is it just... Yeah, with me? zero friends. I guess the friend ah. already left. No, oh, bless. Yeah, we can probably tweak that. Oh, no, I'm going to have to open up the list, aren't I? So basically encourage them to leave the friend, please. I mean, it should already, already happen. Yeah, but in general, um, I've mostly got gambler customers. Gambler customers come in front with friends. Yeah. Yeah, all get uh, all groups can come in. Uh, sorry, all guests can come in for groups now, not just um, hotel guests. It seems to be mostly gamblers not coming in with any friends. Oh right. Okay, there might be a different bug then if it's in a group that hey, have no yeah. friend. This person has one friend. Wherever that friend is. <laughs> we, we may never know. <clears throat> 
Anyway, let's get uh, Bingo in shot. Um, regarding Bingo, should we do one massive room or better off making two uh, rooms? Or maybe even do Bingo one side and then maybe try and sit, maybe add some table games on the other side. Yeah, that's also an option. Um, I need to th see how I wanna do it because for the hotel section, I need some uh, pass. I think the table games will be easy to split up on the right. Yeah, but I may extend the, the hotel on this end too. Uh, <coughs> then um, you can do a separate building hotel at the back. Yeah. It might look quite nice like that. Yeah, that's probably the best idea. Basically have the table games here and then the corridor down to the left and behind. Let's see, get some fences up to separate it. Seven. High pay pay lines. Oh, yeah. pay lines, I should say. Pay lines, such a pay lines, yeah. Hey, pay lines. Happy to see you. Uh, does the bingo hall need to be completely surrounded with walls? I don't think so. And uh, it used to be, and then I think people found it annoying, so I removed it. Pesky elevator in the in, in the unsymmetrical. Oh no. Where <coughs> you can put the podium sort of on the, the right podium. Behind. The oh, podium is one to white. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, my symmetry. You well, should have the, done what we did with the fountain and have like an alternative one for every object. Eh. Looks good enough. Close enough. Um, now I'm thinking about a new feature for the placement head. How many copies of this same object can fit in the remaining space? Uh, that's the whole... Um, I actually don't know how long that would take to do. I guess it could just... Kind of, it have to bear in mind, um, obviously, space between the markers as well. Yeah. But to be fair, this looks fine, I guess. A little bit wider walkway in the middle and on the side. One row you have. Did you not want to change the style? Or are you can do that at the end? Oh, uh, yeah. I want to place all the objects. Know how the layout is gonna. Uh, style. We need some better walls. Yes. It's. Any preferences? Got a couple of. What's installed, by the way? But those are mostly These chests. These look cool, but I don't know how many legally we can use. <coughs> uh, probably not too many. Pretend you didn't see them, guys. Something looking quite old for the bingo, maybe? Yeah, you don't want anything too exciting for bingo. Yeah. This isn't fun.
Probably an old carpet. Let's go with the old wooden walls. Let's see. Carpets. Something looking boring, probably. No offense to anyone who likes bingo. What Can you recolor that one or one of the others? <coughs> um, I don't think so. Um, how about this one? Oh. Yeah, that looks good. A little bit darker in general than the rest of the casino. The casino looks rather bright. A little bit dark. It's pretty. All oh, right, I need to bring it. <laughs> well, this fits perfectly over here. Lovely. Last piece of the uh, last place not wasted. Yes, Peter. Uh, which can do the other way? Um, let me test. I could, but I think it's a little bit cramped at that point. I mean, I'm not even not happy with the bingo podium being the back. A little. Yeah, it doesn't go into the stage anymore. Yeah. Um, I specifically also checked both uh, uh, males and females. Which is correct now. Maileth or which are or just saying when I made the bingo room I had a huge line. I up building like five or ten of these. I know right, five of the tables. Let's hope we make some <laughs> let's hope we get those uh, that many customers too here. Yeah. You don't actually have to build that many card countings if you don't have enough tables for them all. You just have to I guess send some customers away and then they'll go use other facilities. Because <coughs> if you keep building more card counters, then like with um, the same thing about traffic, if you build more road lanes, you just increase the amount of traffic over time, you don't reduce congestion. So if you want not as many people playing bingo, um, unless of course you have a giant hall, but yeah, if that many is going, you might actually be better off leading them to the uh, parts of your casino. Pretty. Thousand on which set? One of them. Congrats on the. Thank you very much. I should have Twitch open before I come in on that. Yeah, I wondered why. Why oh, you don't have? I just wasn't sure if my internet would handle having all three open. Um, you can always pop out the chat. And then just see the chat instead of looking at the whole stream. In uh, Twitch, I think it's the dot 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 and then pop out chat or the small. Can you do that on YouTube? Yeah. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, holy damn. I'm learning. Yes, that's not the really best option to queue up, but okay, if you all want to stand in the corner. <laughs> ah, they get out. They are trying to queue, but they are just forming. Oh, never mind, now they are forming. Or somewhere. Um, Wait, I'm on Twitch. I think, <clears throat> I think I know why Elith men, you need five of those for <laughs> ten tables. I actually <coughs> may need want to build some more. I don't know. They're getting through them quite quickly. Indeed. Hey. Yeah, <clears throat> hey, Donna. Have I appeared? Appeared on YouTube. 
And thanks, Donna. Uh, yes, Peter. Which thing? Is it full today? Uh, it was yesterday already. But yeah, basically. Uh, yeah. Um, Blue Wing Sniper at work, at work. So thank you very much, even if you cannot hear us. <laughs> yes, Peter. Also saying congrats. Um, so if anyone of you have seen the um, things I post with the debugging view on how the new lines form up, it generally works pretty well, but if it gets to tight spaces like this one where you can form loops, I don't know why the algorithm just sometimes loves to make loops, 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 loops. It has the same chance to go left and right, but it just loops, 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 loops. Doesn't seem too that bad. That needs to be turned into a remix. Yeah. Uh, we haven't spoke about some air part yet. On Twitch. Oh, Katie, yeah. I don't know how uh, much we reveal today. I guess we can reveal stuff. We already spoke about it with Arthur yesterday. Well, we don't want to say what we're going to work on yet. Um, besides bugs. So we. Definitely got in, uh, got planned in. Uh, Arthur will probably help. Arthur and me taking care of just general bugs, and, uh, smaller improvements, basically things that has been have been stacking up over the last. Few. Um, in terms of features, we will have to depends on the timing. Um. I'd say more news to come. And definitely keep an eye. And uh, for Michael, you're gonna go on a break. Well deserved one. Hopefully, unless I get <laughs> sucked back in. Nah. You said even if you're doing the break. I wouldn't mind <laughs> working on um, like some scenario missions or something for Sim Casino. As long as it doesn't require too much code. Yeah. So basically, you want Josh, to you'll be work quite on... jealous because you wanted to work on it, didn't you? Oh yes, definitely. So basically, what you're saying is you want to work on easy stuff, <laughs> not these pesky hard bugs, uh, like two hours take two hours to find. Yeah, I mean that's what I've basically been doing the last two years, two and a half years. Well, you did include some new stuff in between. Yeah, just a couple of new features of Sim Casino. Uh, demo games. There is the base tip. Rule editing? Oh, do you want to unlock more table games? You have to unlock um, the payout advantages. So, like, if I remember correctly, if I allowed the player to build one of the tables without the higher house advantage, then it would just never open because the advantage was set such that it would always go above. So that's going to be in the gambling. I'm blind. I'm Break just the blind. There's oh, three buttons. High house. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just going to do all three. I'm in sandbox. I can do whatever I want. Well, no, I'm not in sandbox. I just have. So I actually need to make money. Uh, cashier K. Where do we place one? Probably in the front of the casino. Yeah, small window is useful for fitting in smaller spaces, and also um, it works as normal. But a large one's useful because. People who have large payouts can go use it, even if it's like um, a slot machine and it has a much bigger capacity. <coughs> Just put one either side. <clears throat> and then I guess a smaller one back here, maybe a window back here.
and you'll ask me the pit boss of this. One thing after another. Um, I'd like a. That, that just reminded me of how long it took me to get the shift and um, pencil working. It took weeks of debugging because it didn't always work on certain corners or certain like flip arounds of walls. So I had to have this big complicated maze of walls. And instead of just like not completing it, the whole system would, well, the whole game would crash. So mm. I literally had to, yeah, that was a nightmare. That took a while to do because you had you, to then work around it crashing. Did you run into an infinite loop? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pro tip if you ever debug in those, or if you ever have to find an issue in those, make some maximum runtime in it. <laughs> Just put it in for debugging. <coughs> um, yeah. I've been debugging Sim Airport and Sim Casino um, pathfinding code and um, realistic building code for some time, and you don't know how many of those infinite loop ones I've got. It's really annoying, but yeah, just having some like breakout condition is really happy. Uh, anyway, I wanted the cashier window. Uh, on, Twitch. <coughs> on Twitch, it says, so the large cashier boxes, those don't get emptied by the security. It didn't look like the cash in those was departing in the bank balance or cash vault or anywhere. Was confused where the missing 120k was, so. Because they're much larger, they'll take much longer to get emptied, but you can manually click and empty the mouse. No, actually, no, you can't. Cashier windows are supposed to get filled with cash so that they can distribute it out to guests. So if you were to empty it, then it would just get refilled by someone anyway. So unlike a slot machine where you can click to empty it, there's no point in emptying a cashier window because when a staff member will just come along and refill it. Um, but yeah, they're supposed to get filled. It doesn't count towards your vault because that's not your money. It's, well, it is your money, but it's there to get handed out. But you could all, if you've got too much money locked up, then your best option is to just uh, dismantle the cashier windows. Oh, three counters. Yeah, I'm thinking about uh, basically put this one here, wait till these guys arrive and then actually dismantle it. Because there's just a little bit more. Even gonna say, gonna try, get them to queue up Ooh, nicely nice. out here. I'd probably remove it now because once we're in the queue, I don't think they'll budge over. Uh, you mean this one? Yeah. I, th I, um, I think that queue's probably much longer than you realize because of the loop. Yeah, but I want to wait till one of those. Oh, the staff. Um, and uh, by the time <laughs> the staff is here, we can. Yeah. will not take too long. Um, you are waiting for coins and notes, but these ones are already in there. Uh, you s what do we need there? For the table games? Uh, the pit, pit boss office. Up. And then, yeah, that's it. I mean, it's optional to set them on patrol, but they can make us happy as they're doing it. Do we put pit? And probably put them back here. Those flags. How much is this? By the way, um, distance markers and placement tape are so or a left alt will disable or just this little toggle button here and it also comes up life is there uh, it also comes up if you just place something and the great thing if you want to place something let's say this it now tells you the distance uh, the, the, the distance to the next same object. So you can better place stuff in the same distance. Nothing new on Twitch or YouTube. <coughs> uh, 
Um, right, pit bull. Yeah. And how much do we have? Yeah, eleven. Does eleven divide in any into anything down uh, down into anything? Is it a prime number? Uh, I think so. So it divides into itself. Yeah, no, eleven just doesn't divide into anything, so we cannot break this. Um, it yes, should one. have two wider ones and then a middle one that's thinner, or vice versa. Yeah, like this. One pit boss just gets a small office. Are you gonna have them? Um... Oh, I might. Oh. One really big one and make the interrogation room later down the line. Ah, yeah. That's a good idea. We have two pit boss offices in. And then later you that... want the security camera room just behind the interrogation room. It doesn't have to be, but it tends to make it run more efficiently. We can probably use this space, obviously. It's pretty bad. Means we have a little, little, little bit less space for hotel rooms back here, but I don't think. <clears throat> pit boss, pit boss, and they need access. And the computer desk. Also put a trash bin. Can yeah, the stuff planned? should probably make litter. But then again, then they'd have to have like a litter need and then they'll have to use the bin or else it'll look weird if they never use the bin. Yeah, you probably need space for bingo tables out a bit more for that. For some reason, click and hold move doesn't for me. Oh, right. That's the problem, we keep adding new features or changes and then it usually breaks something earlier. Uh, plant. Plant. I was going to say the plant one. might work on the other side, as in next to the other table. No, mine's still wrong placement. Land, and garbage. Where is my garbage bin? Ah, oh, that's what you're doing. Yeah, just place them so. Yeah, bins have negative environment effects, so you have to be careful with them. Yeah, that's why I usually place them with plants. Let's see, any interesting plant? Wonderful. Now, back to table games. Oh yeah, we've got them all locked now. Uh, yeah, that doesn't. F I don't think there's anything we can might just have to remove the fence. Uh, I think it'll look too bad without the fence. Yeah, I don't want to. Fence, I'm guessing I'm just gonna put some eating area down there. It's because we need access to all the seats around it, so I had to put blocking markers around all the tables. Okay.
Können wir für zu... I still don't like this. Uh, pools are not going to happen. Um, I think it was mentioned once in a dev stream, and for all the dev streams, we said it wasn't going to happen. But we do get asked it quite a bit, but unfortunately, we just weren't able to get them working. Um, by the way, pools, I think I've got the pool mod by mod. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, mod, I made a really nice um, decorative pool mod. Um, doesn't cost too much for you. And basically, this is the issue we are having basically waters and uh, or pools in general we need a hole in the world in the world the ground base uh, rendering it is really really hard this is obviously an option you can see it looks decent but i just decided to an approach like this basically, it's one of those things where sorry go on yeah we we generally we generally do either the full way, full way, um, and to and right, so you actually have a hole and some depth in the pool, or we don't want to do it. Luckily, Mod Air made such a mod, which can obviously be used, but you can see, not perfect. Yeah, I was just going to add, it's one of those things where if we did add it, but not properly, then I think players would be more frustrated that it existed, but not wholly, than if it didn't exist. It's a bit like dance floors, you know, that's quite a cool feature, I think, but then... And you can still make, like, a nightclub zone with your bar and with other stuff, but I think some players wanted a bit more depth to it. Oh, the table games are going quite well. Uh, mostly. Well, Krabs is now starting to be played. I was I was about to say no one wants to play Krabs. Actually, it's also a little less than the rest. But the rest is going good. Bunch of people lost. <laughs> Rip, I guess. That's some bad luck. <coughs> I love how basically all of them lost at once. Uh, do we have anything to lower frost? So pit bosses can, so can... I mean, I guess there's a number of ways. It's just if they're already leaving, then there's not much you can do to bring them back. So you want them to get frustrated slowly. Do you have a pit boss patrol? No, I just placed two pit boss offices. Yeah, they're just sat at the desk doing nothing. Hey, look, uh, by the way, that's a new feature. Not that I implemented it right on release day, which was very, very risky. 
but I got um, them to sit down at the desk. The pit bosses? Uh, yeah, and the research admin. Oh. Um, he was actually well a bit tedious getting back to work. Well done, you may want to check the height on the, on the male pit bosses. Yeah, I but, but I don't know how fixable that is. <laughs> that doesn't look too healthy. Um, although if it's affecting all men, but I, I swear we haven't seen that reported on the other computer desks. Oh, like, who's, staff. Who's, who's sitting on computer desks then? Is it just pit boss and research? Well, I mean customers when they use computers. Oh. Because, yeah, yeah they've been using it for months. I'd be sh shocked if um, it wasn't seen before. Because it should be the same or similar height for most chairs in all situations. Wait, it should be? Oh, uh, hang on. <laughs> no, no. Never mind. Did you find the bug? I'll have to double check the code. I thought I knew what was causing the height to be wrong, but I don't think it is. Okay. Um, we will take a, oh, my good. take a look. And I'm just going to look at the chats. Yeah. Do you want to go through them? Thanks for the dedicated hard work, instant replies on Discord, and a great game I can endlessly play. Thank you. Uh, Certainly understand. One thing about Sim Casino is much more than just a casino. I'm guessing this is about pools. Uh, more than just casino, hotel management, the business management side, lots of awesome features. Yeah, that's the other thing as well. You've got to take into consideration is it's already like two and a half games if you count casino as one, hotel as another, and then like theaters as like half of one. Mm, I guess bingo should be open a little bit long. Gotta get that late night bingo. Midnight. When should we close bingo? Bam is okay. When did we open? In, in here. Same here, this one's open to And then starting 10 a.m. And, and these two can just stay 10 till midnight. I'm not sure if I'm too confident with the phrase, it's going to be fine. <coughs> that never usually goes well. Eh. You'll probably notice soon enough. Oh, by the way. Right. Uh, I forgot this one. We had the bug last time that in these, you couldn't cl uh, clone them. But Please work. <laughs> I mean, I fixed it. It should work. <laughs> I didn't just fix it, by the way. I literally fixed it with this safe in mind, or with this safe I said. So if it didn't work here, um, I mean, I would have done a pretty bad job. Anyway, I can finally put the curtains on all my bedroom. Oh, look at this. I'll let this couple sleeping together. <laughs> Oh, none of them are up to anything. Yeah. This is The Sims. <laughs> Don't mention that game, we're not affiliated with that game, we are not affiliated with EA, please do not shoot us. <laughs> Why are you um, laughing? You're not shooters. I have a cat, a young well, cat yeah. that needs looking after. Shall I build some bigger rooms to have some grouped guests, maybe? Uh, yeah, so we can have groups up to six now. 
needs air conditioning? And they will not now get hot. <laughs> yeah, who needs air conditioning? Get some bigger record. Let's see, so these ones are... Uh, that was the wrong button I wanted it. These are 8 by... Oh, yeah, it might okay. be easier to duplicate. Maybe the easiest solution would be to duplicate two rooms, merge them together, and then make the bathroom one big bathroom, and then just add a bath on the end. I'm just gonna des design them. Fair enough. Go size. No oh, new messages on Twitch or YouTube. Uh, you may have noticed we have the. I don't know if it was in the last live stream, but we now have a hotel overlay type thing when you hover over them. But that no, that's now, completely. Uh, yeah. That now disables when you hide zones, because I think it was showing all the time before. Oh, nice. Didn't even think about that. But yeah, um, so if you haven't seen that tip yet, um, basically the game automatically rooms and everything you see in pink or this color um, is considered the same room oh yuri let's say you make a hotel room which just has like two bedrooms hey we have two bedrooms here I mean, even archways would work, but let's just give them some notes. Um, if you want this whole thing to be one hotel, then just do that. But that's a little bit of the room. <laughs> that true of Arthur crazy, didn't it? <laughs> Arthur isn't here today. If he has an issue, he can join us. Um, well, at least it all hovers now, so it looks like one. Well, yeah, it as just you can see, doesn't obviously modify the text, so that'd be a whole other challenge. As you can see, this whole thing, so all three rooms are considered the whole in the same hotel, room. and the guests will use both beds up to four people in this one. Totally, you said we can up to six people in it. Ah, uh, yeah. Three double beds in one hotel room. And as just as a, for your information, this will in setups like this, but also over several doors. So you can have two door suites or something like that. Yeah, I can't um, mean to do a tutorial of it, but to be honest, it's probably only something you can really explain like in a video. Like it's gonna be quite challenging to explain all that in like text, especially when the moment a player sees a paragraph they're like, I'm not going to read this, and then they're like, what happened? <laughs> Let's see, so we want to buy... And we need... Hmm. Place the... <coughs> balcony, I think that's big enough. I mean, having a balcony. Yeah. Can you place a fence for? Um, if you make one easy, the other one. Oh, let's take them. No, I, I cannot. Know. Uh, Do you remember this mod... what the reason was for the other one existing? Uh, for this one? Yeah. I'm not quite sure. I should maybe just be Victor. Maybe he will tell us now. Um, anyway, these mods, by the way, this completely open one with the fencing. You can basically emulate kind of balcony. Also He's on top of each other. I 
I wouldn't recommend going to that website, bigfollows.com. Where can you bend that, <coughs> bend that one? Yeah, I am not logged into Twitch. And then you know what you're gonna do now. In the meantime, so technically this I, is... I am the, this is oh. the inside. Uh, normally like outdoor. I think the double-sized commercial door would look nice if you painted it black and maybe got the balcony to match the colour. It's the sliding door that... No, that's not sliding, the other one is. Actually, there are um, a lot of... the one next to it, the other one is sliding. You mean the big one? Oh, uh, yeah. Right, this one. So you mean like Although the... on a lot of balconies, they normally do a slide and it's just not automatic. Yeah, indeed. My own toilet. Maybe also. I'm sure there was a way to quickly paste designs. Other design. than just them. Um... Oh, there we go. Does uh, it not yeah, work just... on Posse Select? Yeah, I just didn't want to use it across different. Because oh. this one, I think. Yeah, this one has two cups. This is a three color one. Yeah. It would probably work, but I need to set one color money anyway, so. And no need to. He's in. Hotels are. Hotel guesses, so pick you one in the bathroom. <laughs> they can just pee on the floor. Where's the balcony? Yeah. We've got a balcony to pee over. Big balcony to bathroom, why not? Uh, let's see. What uh, What do we could do? We have the corner as the... And hmm. yeah, which means you go through the main bed. Mm hmm. Oh, I have an idea. We do that. <laughs> Let's just move the door. Oh. Make like a sm uh, yeah. I have the balcony. Apart from here. This. Two rooms. Now I did German for three years at high school. I think I remember Bard Sinner, was it? Uh, what? If I've got that completely wrong and that's the only thing I remember from German, then that was a I waste of time. I didn't even understand it yet. What, what, what did you say? Bard Sinner? Is that a bathroom? Um, nearly, Bard D. Bard D Zimmer. Ah. Uh, um, there's an, the, the E and the E is pronounced. Uh, not just pronounced, but like empath, empath, empathized on I cannot say that word. I did it for three years and I got the first word I said wrong. <laughs> yeah, close enough. I think <clears throat> darker doors might look nicer with the other ones. By the way, I could get some more space. This. If I move this door. Over here, and now I can split this perfectly too. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, let's. Uh, can we fit bedroom? 
Oh, I think it's going to be tight. This one's the bathroom. That be. Move this to one. It's like a puzzle this game. One. Yeah, we are basically. Which bed do we? Yeah. Windows in the system in. Yeah, you're not going to be able to put a TV at the bottom with the door there. Uh, up. Move them in the in. Um, oh, neither no. fits. <laughs> Can I? What I could do is make one big and one smaller room. It's bad. No, that could have worked if it was on the right. Mm -mm. There isn't enough space. Set. I can do with this. This one. Then make it like and oh. uh, that. There you go. Now this bedroom could also have. Might just need a small chair. I guess you can sit on the bed. Yeah, you can sit. Uh, Lord Coco. Congrats on the best to do Constant update. Lots of communication. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. You. Yeah, especially on the community. Generally like to sit around on the, like Discord forums. If I can give one tip to other devs, it's just be active. Like these dev streams. Wonderful way to talk to you all, answer your questions. But also just sitting in the Discord helping people. It's so under yeah. development work. Decent game dev. Yeah, I don't think we had Discord for um, Sinatha originally. It's been well, pretty good for Casino. <clears throat> there was always the official Discord server. Well, both technically are still unofficial. We're probably gonna make an official one sometimes down the line. Um, but for the moment, we have Casino the unofficial one. Originally created by Mod Air. Mostly to focus on modding, actually. But over the time, has become this center of attraction basically for all the questions around sim what in sim um, on that note by the way be sure to join always nice there's people around always happy to talk to you let's just put a shower in Specific and put a whirlpool on the balcony. <clears throat> and a water. Uh,
This one. Case Ouch, man. Oh. And it's do we need some plants? Probably. Uh, yeah. Probably a bedside cabinet. <laughs> And yeah, maybe plant plant and and for room one there. At the plant where they're gonna sit and watch TV. <laughs> you can sit here besides the plant. Oh you got a plant friend when you come maybe. on your own. <laughs> Why not just use the hanging plant? Uh there to start out there's on the fan, yeah. I mean, Technically yeah, they can bump the heads on them but can we just let it slide? I mean, we are already giving them more space. So, if they bump their head, not all. <laughs> they have. They are just gonna have to sign a waiver when they, whenever they uh, check in. I bump bump my head. Uh, my problem. Another message on uh, YouTube. Hi guys, wanted to thank you for all your hard work and dedication towards getting Cincino out of early access. Thank you. And obviously, um, as a reminder, if anyone wants to leave us a review on Steam, it really does help. The whirlpool outside, and you said bedside too? Uh, yeah. You want the fancy one or the, the older one? I think the uh, fancy one fits to this bed better. Yeah, it does. Or maybe even different style for each room, so that can be fancy and the smaller room can have like a more basic one. That's a, bit, a little bit big. I we think this one actually... Uh, maybe not. Maybe just don't put one here. You can use... Space. I... Yeah. They just don't get more. Um, they will, however, get... These. Wonderful. Gonna copy the one. Someone called Siege on Twitch. Hey guys, congrats on finishing early access. What a great name. I actually don't know if I pronounce it properly. It could be Siege or Siege or it even could be Siege. So the next why, one do I, why do I have this like feeling it's gonna be C J? Which point is that'd be ridiculous, Joshua. No no no. <laughs> <laughs> um Well we may never know. Someone put, well, they put you did. I don't know what that means. Uh, can we even fit the whirlpool in? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, we cramped, but you have a whirlpool. I don't think it's, it makes sense. <laughs> I don't know, I think it fits. I think it looks good. I don't think that can go outside the bathroom, to be honest. Although, with the, uh, uh, the balcony mod, you can basically have what's technically an outdoor bathroom. Yeah, let me try. Um... It is a bit cheaty. <laughs> there is no th thing called cheat. If it comes to creativity. Uh, the question is, does this require... Yeah. So the sad thing is you need, you require a toilet, so we'd have to place everything. Um, so yeah, no. that was on the list ages ago, wasn't it? And we just never got around to it. And I still think it'll look good with the hot tub. It's basically a similar idea. Yeah, it's just gonna be a little cramped, but... Uh... Uh, yeah, let's... 
And some plate. And as always, can't forget the bins. Don't think you can fit a Christmas tree in there. No. That one is way too big. Let's put a pin in the corner. We have some generic counter now. So I think there may be a mod for a generic counter. Just play. Now it just needs a dial link. Yeah, if we're going for a modern look, um, just trying to think, this is one of the fancy rooms, maybe we should go for like marble flooring? Let's definitely go for the same like wooden walls. Outside, I may actually go for the same brick. Hi. It looks nice, especially with the darker door. And then, yeah, and then maybe one of the stone floors for the little outdoor balcony. Let's see what we have first. That's um, walls. All right. Ooh, maybe this one. Okay. Yeah. I was just looking at the chat. Uh, siege or siege? Yeah. I'm looking forward to hearing what you have planned for Sim Airport 2. I don't know when we'll announce news of that, but all we can say is it is going to be worked on. And we've got some bug fixes coming for sure. <clears throat> uh, inside? Any ideas? Um, I want something quite modern. <coughs> yeah, I was thinking I mean, either like the marbles or the stone. I mean, this. Oh, by the way, before I think, let's just use the same stone for the. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, and I say maybe go for the same. Do you think? I just wanted to change it up a bit. Yeah, maybe. Um, still want to go for a wood, maybe? Fancy one? Uh, go on then. Maybe like a darker wood. This? That looks good. Yeah. I'd still keep the walls this. But yeah, I think we can go with. Let's see, how much do you want to pay for that? Um. I'd hope more than standard window, yes. Um, I Price per night, the, the, this group is 350, so let's see, 400 maybe? Or we can even go higher. Three. 500? Oh, that's a bit. 520? Oh, maybe 5. Yeah, there you go, 530. Optimizing for the last penny. No, we do not endorse XYZ online strips about clothing on YouTube. I think I can block that one if I quickly jump um, on. I already did. Uh, I probably should have read them out to be honest and drive my attention to them. But do, mm. some do look quite funny. So, oh. we now designed one room. Let's copy paste it. Oh no. Uh, for the walls, um, you'll have to use the actual console. Yeah, the walls don't get copied. Where is my clone tool? My clone tool. We want to copy 
actually select for uh, fences we don't have boring yes zones yes Lop. 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 oh who would guess I imagine it? if it was one us <laughs> yeah who'd guess it oops uh, yeah I have to design the other side <laughs> let's see polish all of I'm gonna demolish everything with that one right yeah uh, yeah then e zone Really quickly, by the way, with the eyedropper tool, you really quickly take and copy stuff. I've got it on Q just because I've mostly been playing Factorio and got the uh, hang of it with that. You basically click it, either you manually click it on the side or hit your whatever key you set it on. And um, you can click a lot, like panels on the wall, base. Start the flooring, you can doors, objects, all the and so you Did get... you say if you press shift you can select zones? Uh no actually. You shift but there's all doesn't really help in this case, because I need to design the rest of the room first. You yeah. So the walls this up. Oh, and now we can really quickly. Go, go, go. Twenty, ninety. Yeah, speed. Speed running, speed running the creation of rooms. Uh, these ones I can click, 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 and select Windows Room. Don't to. Oh, uh, I don't think it's quite selecting that. Ah, uh, no, it doesn't work because I have. I can. I basically have to select room by room single handed. I cannot do both rooms at the same time because it expects the. And here the split is on basically railroad. Uh. So what I can do is on one of those. No, I think it's a different bug. I think it's snapping to the floor below. Yeah, that's also. It needs to yeah, like also. hover. <clears throat> well, okay, that I'll hard. definitely add to the list. It shouldn't be. Oh, just do it manually. <laughs> this one I. And then here I need free placement. Close as possible. And here just. Then, oh, get in reverse. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it was like spot the difference. Yeah, if you can see the difference, let me. Perfect. Now we just need hotel room and bathroom. <laughs> Other side. 
and set the price before you clone it. Oh yeah, good idea. Um, so just to explain, if you set the price, or more specifically the room group, or you copy, you will get the same. Um, at least if you copy zones, obviously, you will get the same settings on those zones you copied in the new room. So I set that to big room in brackets, in brackets three. Oh, oh. damn it! Uh, demolish, demolish. I'm just gonna demolish the whole thing. Oh, building. Yeah. Alright, no, that's everyone. I'm just gonna remove the whole thing. It's faster. And clone it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, I think I did a small mistake. <laughs> that's a privacy concern. Uh, I'm gonna fix that in a second. Uh, anyway, so as you can see, it copied all. Uh, yeah, those need to be. Right, I don't. By the way, generally you can. Uh, or by default, uh, delete. Not set up. So if you now click delete, delete, delete. Uh, I guess no one just get, just no one gets Windows then. May mean the price is a bit lower. I guess the whirlpool. Does the uh, balcony count as a window? Let's check in a second. I can we check in a second? Uh, yeah, the environment overlay. All right. Uh, yeah. Don't make a mistake like I like it. And re destroy privacy. Always plan ahead. You have to check the room satisfaction as well. Yeah, like I said, it's gonna be impacting the price. But again, what do you have? What do we have the hot tub for? Not seeing any messages on stream. Uh, price satisfaction 85% and total group set. Is any using that blank one? Sorry, what? Is any using that first one? Nope. You may as well remove it. There you go. Heavy? Yeah, yeah. It was bothering me. I'm actually surprised it allows you to have a blank one, but I suppose it would need some sort of default. <coughs> yeah. By the way, how's, how's this bingo doing? Pretty well overall. Pretty good. Probably could get rid of one of the desks. I was saying that it just got busy the moment I said that. Yeah, I think it's still worth it to have. Just so pe people don't have to wait too long. Cashier cage. Cashier cage. Cables in general. Oh, right, you want it. Environment. Seems like it. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Either it's implemented as a window, or it's implemented as just a decoration object. Either the way it is having an impact. Yeah, I guess it's... What I don't know. Anyways, if a big word. 
What do you, what else do you? Um, for those wondering if you've just joined, that's the mod you can get on the workshop for the little balcony piece. Quite nice, really. Alright, last time, the one thing I noticed last time, we really don't have any big trees except the... What is it? The uh, Christmas the... tree. Well, yeah, the Christmas... Don't we have... Oh yeah, we have a oh, yeah, pipe yeah. right in the middle. I don't know why I'm pointing at the screen, you wouldn't be able to see it. I can do that too. Uh, <laughs> someone's asked, games looks interesting. I bought it but not had time to play yet, so I thought I'll just chill out and watch you guys. That's nice. Uh, question, can you rotate cloned rooms? You can. Um, if you saw what happened earlier, we were able to flip the room, but you can rotate them, yeah. Yeah, basically, yeah, like, like you said. Flip, no, rotate, yes. Which meant I had mirrored this one manually. But in any any rotation case. Um... Yeah, so what I noticed, we have the massive Christmas tree. We don't have like a palm tree is really small. Also, if you can put it on a list, the numbers for the placement go higher than the rest of it. Uh, do you have to go down the floor? Yeah, but they shouldn't have, shouldn't show up up here in any case. The lines are correct, just the numbers are. <coughs> that might be to do with what layer the text is on. I don't know how easy that would be to fix, unless you've rendered it separately. I'm not quite sure anymore. I can probably take a look. Anyway, let's place a couple of... And this is exactly a big point where placement, the distance helper, uh, does the job. Basically, I'd like to... Let's say I'd like to place... Five cells. Start here. We know we want to have four spots in the middle. And quickly do that. I doubt Donna's around anymore, but uh, trees are really difficult to do. <coughs> I mean, you can make simple ones with flat textures, but then you get a game that looks like it's from the mid 2000s. And if you want to do it properly, um, they just get really, really expensive. There's not really much of a middle ground. They're quite awkward, really. It's a bit like the Uncanny Valley. If you either have to go really high detailed and realistic, or like really simple tree designs. It's like the palm tree is fairly simple. <clears throat> yeah, the Christmas tree is actually quite well. It's still rather simple, but it has a lot of detail. Nice. Yeah, you don't need to see individual leaves. I think it's the leaves that make it difficult. Yeah. Well, anything really. Hmm. But challenge on uh, challenge for modders. Wanna get a tree? Oh, the Rassen. I don't think. Uh, I, I swear I saw some on Discord. I'm just gonna have a quick look. I'd love to see some more trees, and I definitely like. Not really pl well. Something more native, or bushy trees like this. It's a little bit more deep. We can have some more fancy. <coughs> While I'm on here, so we've got wall mounted cameras, the pool which we showed off earlier. Oh, you might want to place on the beach umbrella next to that pool. If you want to rebuild uh, it, we got Ursa Sands, roof entries, the roof entries are awesome. Uh, cars. Salad buffet, ice cream machine. Uh, I love the cars. Ah, right. Goodness. Yeah, this tree tapella by Modder. So that's an option for a tree. The uh, ceiling Mod fans look good as well. Uh, Modder just made some simple car. One and number two, I guess, are parking spots. 
So you can make, make like a part place in front of And he also made this one. Like one of these big win things, like where you can win a big cup of it. And it's two stories high. I think he didn't block it. So yeah, you could technically place it in a one story high. But obviously it obviously um, But you can place it in the two story highest section and play it. Slot machines around it. Then have it. Maybe. Not using it anyway. Uh, this. Oh no, hold up. And snow flowing. Yeah. Did There's you no stop and slice it? <coughs> oh dear. Okay. Hey. Is it again? Let's just play. Big car jackpot thingies. I think I know why. So, if it removed the floor and not the fence, then in some cases it would leave behind the floating fence. But again, in that specific case, the fence still would have been on the edge. So it needs to check if the fence is on an edge that will still exist mm. after the fact. So currently you're just greedy. Mm. Yeah, so it doesn't leave behind floating uh, fences or anything. That's now on the list. Yeah, that looks cool. You know. All slot machines are too wide, right? Too wide for what? Oh, you mean uh, literally too... too wide? Yeah, I yeah. thought you just meant too wide. Uh, move it back by one. Actually, move it back. Oh yeah, by the way. Select all. Move. Click. You can use shift cut yet to select more. Yeah, if, so if, let's say I want to move both at once. Select all. Hold shift, like the other ones. No. Oof. I'm gonna use the same ones because they look nearly flush at the top. Yeah. And then something in the corner. What do we put in the corner? Plant? As always, trusty plant. And plant. Close enough. Damn it! Yes, I just actually placed <coughs> the same position. Uh, let's see this. By the way, another good tip: shift to set the whole floor. Like in this case, you'd set. I'd set the whole <coughs> control. You only set the same floor. So I want to set, replace concrete here. Control places the. Uh, this probably looks really nice. Yeah, look at this. Yeah. It's nice to get a balcony view as well. But do you want to do a bit more exploring while we're at it? Uh, well, there isn't too much Maybe to... Maybe show off the hotel rooms. Yeah, we can do that. So this is the buff hit. Done it last time. You can press shift to run. We can also just it. A walk. Nice drill. We probably need some more wall decorations. There's plenty of signs like neon lights and um, quite a few things we can add, really. That but may bang be your head because... against the glass. Well, to be fair, that may be me just easy to place them. <laughs> I'm not the decoration man. It's a very eco casino with all the wood. 
<coughs> oh no, I like the book. There's some marble down the down on the lower floors. A lot of stuff going on. By the way, at the beginning I said let's have the slots in the front specifically so people have to go through them. And yet people have to go through the middle of them to go up. And up here we have bingo. Also. Like he doesn't. Know what that is. Yeah, I don't know either. But he doesn't. It, it looks like a web browser. He he working full time. You need to check up on. A lot of people going around. And before anyone asks, uh, you can't play these table games or these slot machines. They get me wrong with love too, but that's. I mean, that's basically another game. I know we said at the start, we have a casino game, we have a hotel game, we sort of half have like a theatre game, and then that would be like a fourth game. It would be a cool project, it might be something maybe like we try and do in our spare time if we can, but not something we can really commit to, because as well it isn't just about getting the game to be functional, then you want it to actually be fun, especially with the slot machines. And making it so the animations work and so you can actually play it. By the way, you cannot go into the bathtub. No. You can go in the elevators and the stairs, that's fun. Uh, Nips just right, guys. Great street. Oh, what to play in casino. Take care. Bye. Bye bye, happy. To have you here. Hope you come join us. Uh, just gonna really quickly go over it. But another stream scheduled tomorrow with a special guest, and Arthur is joining you again. Then on Saturday, but another stream. Probably just ask you again about Michael. Hopefully, is gonna play. Will be sure to. I might oh, start. I might start a new one, just to see how it goes. I mean, I won't ruin your casino. These doors, doors man, are creepy. Anyway, let's check out the elevator. Ding. Yeah, I need some more music. <laughs> The hotel. What do we call this? Corridors? Oh, uh, yeah, corridor. The hotel corridor looks really, really empty and lifeless. But if you go into one of these rooms. Boom. Lovely room. And it's in that part. <coughs> yeah, hard to see because the resolution is so low, but. This is actually some map. Is that a toilet up above? If so, uh, then I'll make a note of it. Actually, Anything. there's two of them. That'd be the toilet if there's two of them that close. We can just take a look at it. Uh, let's see, it's roughly here, in the middle of the room. Person not strange. Um, well, I'm basically That. Probably. Is it the bin? Um, of the plant. I've got fish. Yeah. Probably the bin. Yeah, the bin would fit. I'm not quite sure how are they there. Wait, we were in one of the first rooms. Add into the list. Oh yeah, there you go. It's the bins. Okay. There you go. We even um, find some issues while we play the game. So just a general thing, just a general information. Want to help us out? Um, if you find any bug, really, let us know. 
the best place to report bugs is out. Having some description of what's going wrong, maybe a picture. Always helpful. And if it's something that's happening in your save, you can just hit escape. And we have the report, the debug report. Just put it in. Short description, upload, and as soon as it's done, it will give you some ID. Just post that with your description on Steam and find your report real quick and take a look at it. So that's the best way reporting back. If you want to just discuss or just need help with some, something, it's probably the best to go in our Discord. If you don't have a question and just want to help us out, go to leave a review for Casino or Sim Airport if you have. That is always the best help. I think everything else is generally working fine. I guess people get run over whenever they cross the road, but that's a whole other thing. <laughs> I yeah. hope you have insurance. <coughs> to be fair, as soon as they are off the plot, which the sidewalk includes, not our issue, I guess. <laughs> Of how many people come in via bus, but a bunch of people just walk off. Like they don't want to take the bus and walk. It's healthier. Indeed but I don't think is. it's an accurate re representation of America. Well, if you wanted an accurate representation of America, you'd have half your casino be a car park. It might be a good idea to set up linked jackpots for those ones with the cars. Uh, that is a very nice idea, but I think... Yeah, let's add to them. By the, one, by the way, another one for the list. Plant yeah. 3, specifically. Yeah, plant 3 doesn't behave. I don't really know what I want to do with it. not really used by anyone. Why would you go in front of the casino, but it's a nice yeah. view. See you, Jay, put see you tomorrow, have a good night, and then put plant freeze being naughty. Yeah, not just plan three, what is which bin is this? Uh come on out of One of the bins. Yeah, the trash <laughs> trash bin one is also not too nice. Seeing has coming together quite nicely. Are there any big signs we could put up for it? Uh you mean just the one the massive outdoor ones? Uh yeah. Uh, requires research giant casino. It's the first one, yeah. I always see everyone build that one. It'd be nice to just try the uh, the other one. I mean, you can build both. True. One at the end here. Let's put the big ones at the end. Or you can only have one of each. Oh, uh, yeah.
<laughs> Keep it running into it. Yeah, we'll have to update the pathfinding. But I'll update eventually when you people start walking. <coughs> so just if it interests anyone. Um basically pathfinding doesn't really change and people will run into stuff and just more performant to try to repair while you build something. So we don't do that in Casino in Sim Airport we the existing path blocked will instantly repair. But in some casino we don't and people may run into stuff as soon as the game detects or oh, the path is, the path is not they will re <clears throat> this is that's obviously only gonna happen to everyone that has over that cell on by the way oh this one Everyone seems to be using mostly the right side. Love to have good speed. Both. It's just the buses can. And the yeah. issue is I cannot split it perfectly because. Well, it would still probably look better if I put it in the. Middle. The next bus. Or not if the bus I think still the stops. nearest red node is um, sort of stuck oh. there. It still works. Since the, since the people accumulate around the sun. They still somehow prefer the right side, probably because it's some perfect sector mm. on this side. But whatever. Anyway, I I'm think it's a sports book next, isn't it? Hmm? Sorry? Uh, so what were you going to say? I didn't realize you were talking at first. Uh, no problem. Let's say let's move sports book and link check to tomorrow. I'm not sure about you, but I'd say end it for tonight. Yeah, it's been nearly two hours. A little bit shorter today, um, but it's also just us two. If you guys have any questions, leave them now. I'd be happy to answer them. Otherwise, as I already said, we will be streaming tomorrow, same time. Obviously, oh. same channels. And uh, we will be having a special guest, which will be. You will have to find out tomorrow who it is. Be sure to join them. And then on Saturday we hope to see Michael building his casino. I haven't seen it yet, so that'll be special for me too. Um I haven't started it yet. <laughs> well so Michael didn't see it either yet, so it's a surprise to me. That's the best bit. Surprise to anyone. <clears throat> And I think this the amount of people coming and close off with saying this is a rather successful casino. Have you made any money yet? Um I don't think so. <laughs> RWB saying your mic breaking up. Uh just let me know what you didn't hear and I can tell you. But yeah, I'm gonna. I'm having a hard time being loud still. Um, talking all the time is really uh, heavy on the voice. Uh, let's. Yeah, it should Enjoy. be the same time tomorrow. Yes. Uh, currently not. That's Though... a lot of construction. <coughs> Yeah, if you can't evade the construction, I think I made like a 60k profit.
Let's see the day prior. Uh, the day prior to so day five, I didn't. At the casino run for a day, it would probably make money. Though the day didn't end, obviously, and the masses are coming. So I don't know. Anyway, with that note, I guess it's. Uh, I guess we'll end it for tonight. And. Uh, we hope to see you, everyone. Uh, see you all tomorrow and on Saturday. Thanks, everyone, for watching. For me as well. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Th thanks for coming by. I hope to see you all. As always, the normal outro stuff. If you've seen it on YouTube, leave a like, subscribe to see when the next stream is going live. Uh, we also have Discord notifications when the streams go live, or Twitter. Follow wherever you want. Completely your choice. And uh, on Twitch, the same. Follow us there for the stream notifications. I think the only place where, we don't, where there are no notifications is Steam, but whatever. You have options. Um, if you've seen this in as a VOD, be sure to live. Uh, be sure to leave a like. And if you really have some question, you can always comment or just let us know on Discord. Hope to see you all on the next one. And I guess that's the bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.